Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today is Tuesday, very rainy day and um, many of you guys actually uh, for the last two months you asked me to show how you can create pixel art in Photoshop and today I will show to you how you can easy create pixel art in Photoshop. It's very easy it's um, com absolutely not complicated. You will love it, guys. So uh, let's start. I have opened Adobe Photoshop, as you can see, and uh, also I have created my uh, document. You can create your document um, uh, using any color for your background. Today I have uh, uh, only today I have white color for my background and by default guys I have only one layer let me show to you and this layer is um, locked I will not unlock it because it's not necessary but just in case if you would like to unlock um, any layer simply click on this uh, lock icon and voila Photoshop will unlock this layer for you to create our pixel art uh, first of all, I would like to make a visible um, grid. Uh, you need to go to view, show and grid. Just like this. Click on it and voila. Now guys, as you can see, uh, uh, my grid is very uh, large. Uh, cells of my grid um, uh, are very large and uh, pixel art will not work with this size of our cells. How uh, can we change it? It's easy guys. I will go to Photoshop preferences. I will click on guides, grid and slices. Let me show to you. Just like this. I will click on it and here guys I will check. Let me show to you. Grid line every one pixel and subdivision also one pixel just like this guys you can specify colors for your uh, grid you can specify colors for your um pass for a smart guide uh, you can um uh, customize anything you like uh it's up to you um you can create, um, if you will, uh, example, smart guides. By default, it's magenta and I love it. Uh, but if you would like to change it, simply click on um, drop down menu and you will be able to uh, switch to any other um, color. You even can create your custom color. Guys, this is amazing. So after um, I specify a uh, grid line every one pixel, um, subdivisions of one pixel I will click OK just like this but we have one more step left I will go to preferences general I will click on general just like that in here guys I will change it image into uh, interpolation I will change to nearest neighbor with a preserve hard edges it's very important guys let me move to here and now i'm ready to start working on my pixel art i will click ok and as i said before i have a one, only one layer default layer i will create a new empty layer why just because uh i will be working with many different colors um if I would like to change any color or I would like to delete any uh, color uh, later on, I can do it without any problem. And if you know me, hi, hi, Terry. And if you know me, you know how much I love uh, layers. Now, what brush we will be using? You can use any brush you like, but the best, the best practice is to use pencil. Simply click on pencil tool. You can... Uh, specify any um, brush for your pencil tool and now guys what I will do I will zoom in my document just like that not too much and I will bring size of my pencil tool down maybe not so much 
And because we will be working on Valentine's Day a pixel art, I will be using a white color. My first color I will be working with is um, uh, not white, red color. So let's start, guys. Using a pencil, pen tool, I will simply shape out um, one part of my heart, just like that. Now, guys, definitely you can um, continue um, outlining the shape of your heart manually or, or if you're not comfortable for now with uh, your painting skill, I will show to you the easiest way. Duplicate this layer just like this. Go to edit, transform and flip horizontal just like that. After that, switch to the move tool and move your second part of your heart just like that. Now I will merge two um, top layers and voila, this is my heart, uh, a rough outline of uh, my heart. Now I will switch back to my pixel, uh, my um, pencil tool, I will increase size of my brush and I will add a little bit more art to my heart just like that. Guys, you can do anything you like. Again, it's your art, it's your creation. Uh, maybe I will fix this part, right? Yes, just like this. Now, guys, I would like to add a little bit of uh, ye uh, yellow color into my art. How can I do this? I will uh, highlight my original, my default layer, back white background layer. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch color of my brush to yellow. And just like this, I will add a little bit more yellow color to my art. And I will increase the size of my brush, my pencil, just like this. Look at this, guys. It's already very pretty. Now, I will highlight my, um, you know what? I will create just a new empty layer. I will switch color of my um, pencil tool to white. I will bring size of my brush down and I will create a white heart in, inside of our uh, uh, red heart, just like this is. Guys, you can do anything you like, literally anything you like. Look at this. How beautiful is it? It's, it's very, very simple, but very, very beautiful. Hi, hi. Now, guys, let me zoom out. This is basically our um, heart. Can we, uh, can we add a little bit more uh, details? Can we add a little bit more color? Yes. I will highlight my top layer. I will create a new empty layer. I will be using same uh, white color and I will add a, a few splashes of um, white color to this heart, just like that. And guys, uh, basically uh, be creative, do anything you like. Main requirement is to be creative. That's it. If I will switch color of my bra, uh, I will. If I will switch to yellow color, I will add a little bit more um, splashes of a red, a yellow color. I'm sorry, just like this. Now, guys, uh, I would like to add uh, color to my background. Thank you, thank you. I will highlight my uh, background layer. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch color of my, I will switch color of my pencil to um, green. You can use again any color you like. I will increase the size of my pencil tool just like that, maybe a little bit bigger, and I will add green a color to my background. Guys, as I promised, it's very, very simple, but very, very effective. Look at this. If you would like, you can add a little bit um, 
a red color to your background. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch uh, to red color and I will add red color to my background. Just like this. And voila, guys, look at this. What else we can add? We are working on Valentine's Day image. I will highlight my top layer. I will create a new empty layer. I will be using white color. And I will bring size of my pencil to down. And I will just write it down. I. I made mistake. Just like that. Guys, it's very intuitive. I uh, love you. Just like that, guys. Again. Maybe I made mistake again. I will undo it. And again, guys, I'm making mistake because it's... Maybe I'm not making mistake. Maybe I will be more creative now. Yes, yes, yes. And one more and one more. Just like this. And you. And again, guys, be creative. You can use different color colors for your text. It's up to you. You can uh, use multiple colors. Love you. One second, guys. I don't like it for some reason, you know, guys. Uh, what I will do, I will highlight my uh, layer under my um, heart layer. I will create new empty layer and I will add white border just like this. Yes, you can add text if you like, but for me it will be too busy. Instead of text, I will add just a white um, border around my heart. Just like that. But it's my preference. Guys, uh, you can, um, again, you can add your own text. Just like this. And guys, we are done. Now, after you will be happy with your art, after you will be ready to send this uh, image to somebody, uh, go to view and simply click on grid one more time and voila, you will hide your grid. Guys, this is simple. This is very fast, but very pretty. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you today. Again, if you have any questions, just ask. I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions. And by the way, if you will, if you would like to add, let me switch back to my desktop. If you would like to add something um, more artistic to your art, just, um, I don't know, just create a new empty layer, just like that. Use any type you like. Oh, it's big. One second, guys. I have a big text. I will switch back to probably eight. And I will type, I love you. Something like that, guys. You can play. You can play with your text. You can do anything you like. And I will use white color. Again, guys, do anything you like. I don't personally. I don't like text in my pixel art, but it's up to you. So, guys, 
this is what I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for all your support. Support Very appreciated. And I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys, we will create an um, uh, image for Valentine's Day you in Adobe Dimension. Yes, guys, we will be using Adobe Dimension and we will create our image from scratch. I'm very excited to show to you how easy, again, guys, how easy you can create a very uh, personal image image for Valentine's Day using Adobe Dimension and from scratch. So guys, thank you so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!